Hello, hello. How are you this evening? today for movement needs. Maybe based on anything you've been doing today. Hips, shoulders. Substitutes are towels. And why towels? Because they're pretty stable once you fold them up and they get you a little bit of lift. You can also use books, although those can be a little shifty in movement. Um, sometimes a box of tissues works well. It's about the same size. So if you have a towel, a blanket, something to substitute in as a block, or if you have blocks, that's great too. And then we'll find a comfortable way 
to sit to begin. Maybe bringing in a blanket or towel for under your hips. And let's see. And walk. I've been doing a lot of reading the past couple days. When we first went into um, the stay at home, um, I was really struggling with concentration. I would pick up a book and set it down and just really couldn't dive into anything with too much intensity or concentration. And um, so I turned to some poetry because those are shorter. And I can see good day there, wonderful, Aunt Audrey, I'm glad to hear it. I think there's, I don't know, there might be another comment, but I can't read it from here anymore. In any case, I've been kind of writing down the poems because I like to write them down line by line and just kind of think about it, reflect on it. So, I was reading some Mary Oliver who does a lot of poetry about nature. And that's, I think, one of the places she finds her inspiration. So, I'm going to start with a poem today called Sleeping in the Forest by Mary Oliver. So make yourself comfortable, whether you're sitting in a chair or on your mat on the floor, crisscross, or you can stretch your legs out. You have your knees bent, bottoms of the feet together, the knees open. Really just a place where you can invite a little bit of stillness in, just for this moment. I thought the earth remembered me. She took me back so tenderly, Arranging her dark skirts, her pockets full of lichens and seeds. I slept as never before, a stone on the riverbed. Nothing between me and the white fire of the stars but my thoughts. And they floated light as moths among the branches of the perfect trees. All night I heard the small kingdoms breathing around me. The insects and the birds who do their work in the darkness. All night I rose and I fell, as if in water, grappling with a luminous doom. By morning I had vanished at least a dozen times into something better. So just a little bit to share to start today. And some of her descriptions are just so beautifully done. And I think one of the parts that really resonate with me is that line, I slept as never before, a stone on the riverbed, nothing between me and the white fire of the stars, but my thoughts. And they floated light as moss among the branches of the perfect trees. So for me, that's connecting to a little bit of presence, even among some of this unknown that she's hinting at in this poem. So perhaps here too, we can kind of hang our thoughts, let them float light as moths or butterflies if you prefer. And just for now, find just a little movement side to side. And just noticing how your body's feeling. Feel where your hips and glutes connect to the earth. And then feel the length of your spine rising, holding you up. And let the top of your head reach toward the sky, floating up above as your roots connect you to the earth. And you can have your eyes open or closed to pause here for a moment and breathe. There's nothing you need to change about your breath. Just be with what is already present for you. And notice how your breath feels. Soft. Or 
Is it rapid? Do you notice your inhale or your exhale being longer or shorter? And where do you feel your breath right now? Where do you feel it the strongest? Is it the low torso? Around the ribs? Maybe the upper chest, the shoulders? Or do you notice your breath the most in and out through your nose? Even your mouth. What's here for you in this moment? If you can follow your breath wherever you notice it the most, from the beginning of the inhale all the way through to the end of the exhale. Breathing in, filling. Breathing out, gently emptying. Squeezing out every last bit of stale air. Following the breath from the beginning of the inhale all the way through to the end of the exhale. You might notice things coming up, thoughts, feelings, what mood you're in. All of this is okay. It's a part of your experience. See if just for now you can invite yourself back to the breath each time you notice the thinking. Give yourself permission. When you're ready to add a little more movement, bring your hands, your fingertips toward the shoulders, elbows out to the sides, and start with some small circles. And keep breathing. Hang on to that breath. Keep following. You might let the movement grow. Elbows can swing forward and far back and down. You might think of taking elbows towards one another as if they were going to touch in front and even behind you. Reversing directions anytime you're ready. Maybe starting small again and letting it grow. Breathing in. Breathing out. Sink the shoulders down into their pockets. Release the arms down. Plant that right hand and bring the left hand right back to the shoulder. Tip toward the right. You can bend that right elbow and then optional reach the left arm up and overhead. Stretching along that left side body as you tip toward the right. We'll inhale, come back to center. Draw that left arm down to the earth. The right hand to the right shoulder as you tiptoe out on the left fingers. and reach. Option. Breathing. Right side body stretching. And then you can float with your breath each time you inhale, passing the center. Each time you exhale, tipping to one side or the other. Or you can pause on a side and take several breaths there. Do what serves you. And this whole time, think of letting that top shoulder slightly roll back. Letting the heart stay pointing toward the front of the room versus rounding in for this moment. Breathing in and breathing out. Moving at your pace. What do you notice? Does one side feel a little softer? Maybe something else. 
what differences and similarities do you notice? Let's all meet toward the right. And keeping the top of the head reaching long so the chin not tucked is lifted. Take the thumb and tap the back of the head. Inhale, reach it up. Thumb, hand toward the back of the head. And as you warm up with this, maybe the hand slides behind the head, but we keep the chin lifted. Think of sending your head back. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, stand back. Reach once again. This time, let it land. Pausing here with the elbow. Send backwards and tip your head into your hand. And then exhale. Draw a line with the elbow across your torso. Inhale, open up. Lean the head into the hand. Exhale, open up. Open, one more. Reach that hand up, and then let's fold over that right knee. Your hands can stay near the knee, and you can dip down, bending elbows, or you can reach the arms long and away. Plant through the hands and sink your sit bones back as if you were creating a long line forward and back at the same time. And you can hold the head in neutral, or you can allow the chin to settle toward the chest here. And then walk both hands to center. And one by one, roll the vertebra up. Stacking until the last thing is your head. And we'll tip in the opposite direction this time so that right hand can come to the right shoulder or float overhead. Left hand is planted, the elbow can bend, reaching. And then again, take that thumb toward the back of the head. Inhale, reach. Chin stays level. Bending the elbow. And reach. This time, maybe sliding the hand behind the head. Lean the head back. Inhale, reach. Couple more times. One more. Pausing here. Leaning back, exhaling, draw that line across, inhaling, open, exhale, across. And let's do one more. Reaching long and then diving down over that left knee. Again, the hands can stay on either side of the knee and lowering the torso down, or you can send the arms long, softening the chin toward the chest here. Breathing in, breathing out. So walk both hands to center now, and slowly rise on up. Good, roll the shoulders a couple of times. We'll make our way to tabletop hands and knees. You can spread out a blanket or towel if you had one under you for a little extra cushion under the knees or wrists. And once you get here, take some calves and cows. So letting the stomach relax down with the head, heart, tail. Exhale, reverse the spine up. Tail, head, heart, tail. Adding any movement that feels good, whether side to side. Or even circling the hips round and round. Coming back to the cat and the cow. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, arching the back. Find neutral spine now. And once there, shift the weight slightly to the front of the kneecaps. And as you do so, your feet might pop up. You can let them, or you can keep your feet planted. Your toes can be tucked here. But we're just shifting so the shoulders are so 
somewhat ahead of the wrist here, just slightly. And then slowly lower on down to your stomach. Bring your elbows now in under the shoulders. Scooch my blankets out of the way. Let the tops of your feet press against the earth as you lift your head and heart up here. Spread the fingers wide. You can root down through the fingertips, the knuckles, the base of the hand. Breathing in and breathing out. Follow that breath from the beginning all the way to the end. Letting our thoughts be light as moths. Maybe imagining what is a perfect tree to you. They're all a little different. And yet somehow, just as they are, they are now. Now, engaging through the forearms, visualize what it would be like to lift your elbows up off of the mat here. A little bit of a sphinx forearm push up here. We've done these before if you've done some other classes with me, if this is your first time. Visualizing the forearm, the elbow lifting up is the start and it's enough. And then if you want, you can add on by letting a little lift, a little gap between the elbow and your mat or the floor. Keep rooting down into all the knuckles. Exhale, lower that down and see if you can soften just a little bit. Inhale, find a little lift. Now maybe lifting a little higher this time. Exhale, you'll lower down. Keep the tops of the feet planted here so we're not lifting the feet. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, slower and on down. Let's do two more of those. Lifts and lowers. Lift and lower. And this last time, this last time, I know I said two more, but really apparently I meant three more. Holding on up this time. Breathe and hold. Five breaths here. So you count your breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. Five full breaths in and out. Follow your breath from the beginning to the end of each. It's okay to find a little discomfort here. On your next exhale, lowering down. Lower all the way this time. Let the elbows kick out to the side. Stack the hands, rest the forehead, and notice the sensations. Traveling up and down the arms here. Maybe bend the knees, heel to the sky, and sway the feet side to side. How are they feeling? What do you notice? Can you feel this up into the shoulders? And go ahead and lower the feet. Rise back on up onto those elbows. And then from here, what would it take to get you into a forearm plank? And that can be a forearm kneeling plank or a full forearm plank. So tucking the toes and either leaving the knees down and lifting the hips. As you lift the hips here, think hips in line with the shoulders, okay? And then not back down. So you can do the forearm kneeling planks or toes are tucked, lifting the hips up and then lifting the knees up too. Hips in line with shoulders, reach through your heels here. And then slowly articulate the spine and come back down. Keep the toes tucked under just for this movement. Exhales, rising. Inhales, lower back down. So either our kneeling forearm planks or the full forearm planks, whichever serves you in this moment.
Let's do one more. We'll meet there holding whichever one you decide. Holding here. Five breaths. Keep the top of your head reaching forward. Reach through your heels as if there were a thread from the top of your head through your heels drawing you in both directions at once. Breathe here. And what happens if you flip your hands, the palms face up? What do you notice? Any changes? You've got this. When you're ready, lowering down. Oh, enjoy that release. Fold all the way down, elbows out, hands stack, make that pillow. Sway the feet side to side. How are you doing? What do you notice? Can you feel your heartbeat? How's the breath? Let's come back to center. We're going to come back into the forearm plank. And again, either the kneeling forearm plank or the full forearm plank you choose. We're going to add some side planks for now. So, tucking the toes as you're ready and lifting those hips up, either that kneeling or that full plank. And then taking the left hand toward the right elbow, setting that hand down, and then slowly pivoting the feet and turning into your side plank. That right hand will reach up. Now if you're kneeling, one knee is going to stay down. So your left knee here, if you're following my cueing, is going to be down right now. We're lifting through the hips. Our feet can be staggered or stacked. We're breathing here. And we're going to come back through to whatever variation of forearm plank we're doing. And the right hand's gonna to travel toward that left elbow, pivoting, the left hand's gonna reach up. Either the right knee is down or the feet could be stacked or stacked. Keep lifting through the hip. Let's come back to middle. Switching sides. Take your time. Your hand could reach toward the sky, optional. Reach it up along the ear, reaching forward or even moving back and forth, or you could circle the arm. Keep breathing. You could go from long to cactus. We're gonna come back to center. Once more in the opposite direction. Breathing, reaching the arm, adding movement, what serves you right now? Just exploring the movement of that arm. What happens if you bring it down toward the mat? And we're gonna meet back in a forearm plank. We lower all the way down. Lift the heart up and melt down. Stack the hands, bend the knees, sway the feet side to side. Releasing the feet, bringing the hands in line with the shoulders, press yourself up and back to child's pose. We're going to take the knees wide and let the toes come toward one another, reaching the arm forward, melting the forehead down to the mat or stacking the hands and letting the forehead rest on the hands is up to you. Be in your breath here, following it from the beginning to the end. Letting thoughts flow by. And rising back up to tabletop. And this is a spot if you have blocks or a couple towels. I just have one to demo with today. Or something to replace a block. You can have that up on either side of your mat. And then step your right foot toward the back of the mat and reach through the heel. Toes plug into the mat. Rise onto the tippy toes. Reach through the heel. Back and forth. And then let's take a big step forward. Right hand can support, bringing it all the way up and in between the hands. Here's where the blocks can come in. You can bring them in 
underneath of the hands to lift your heart up a little higher. We'll start with some hurdler and lunges, so our low lunge is exactly where we are. And then begin to straighten that right leg. The toes can lift up off the mat, straightening just until you feel a stretch. And for now, keeping the left hip over the knee. Inhale, so you can come back forward. And the blocks are here to support you any way they can, so maybe you move them as you come into hurdler and move them back as you come into your lunge. And then adding today a little bit of balance here as an option. When that right foot comes up for your hurdler, you can bring your hand slowly to your heart and then start to sink the hips toward the back heel. Then rising back up, the hands can come to the blocks or stay at the heart into your lunge. So if you have a wall nearby, that can also be supported. You can have one hand on the wall or one hand on a block. The other can be at the heart. Exhale into your hurdler. Inhale into your lunge. One more. We'll meet back at that lunge. Bring both hands to the mat on either side of that right leg. And then step the right leg back to meet the left and take some hip circles round and round here. Reverse directions. We're going to do the other side now. So finding center to prepare, stepping that left foot back, reaching through the heel and then up on the toes a couple of times. See where you notice the stretch today. And when you're ready, stepping that foot forward, one hand on either side. You can bring the hands up on the blocks. They could also come up onto the leg. You can use a wall, straightening the leg, coming back to that lunge. Seeing what serves your left side. Is it different than the right? What do you notice? More or less a sensation of tightness or ease? If you want to add at any point that full hurdler stretch by sinking the hips toward the heel, hands can come to the heart, both one, none at all. Your choice, stay lifted through the heart as much as you can. Keep breathing. Coming forward this last time, release the hands down on either side, send that left foot back, take some hip circles. All right, we're going to add on incorporating these hurdler lunges as a part of our balance and flow today. So finding center, right foot steps back. And then a slow step through, right hand can support, bringing it up between the hands. Good. Bring the hands to the heart now, lifting the heart up. Good. And then slowly start to straighten that front leg. Remember, you can have a wall to support you, a block. Sinking the hips down toward the heel. It does not need to come all the way down any part. We're then reversing that, rising back up. Now, bringing both hands to the heart or the leg here or your hips, tuck the left toes under, and then hover that left knee up. Breathing, so it's a bent knee lunge. And then keeping the front leg bent, shift your weight into that leg, and step the left foot forward next to it, coming into a chair pose. And this can be any kind of chair here. You could be on a stool, a little higher, or you can sink it low and back. Good. And then shift the weight into the left foot. 
and slowly step the right foot back. Slowly lower that knee to that hover and gently set it down. Good, come into that hurdler now, straightening through that left leg, letting the left toes peel up, sinking back toward that right heel. And here the top of your foot can be flat or you can have your toes tucked. Then inhale, come back through. Weight shifts forward, trunk shifts forward, step forward in the chair. And then rise all the way up to mountain. The hands can come down by the hip. Take a moment here. Breathe. Ready to add on? So bring the hands to the heart. And let's start with the right side. So shift the weight into the right foot. Find a spot to focus your gaze on. Something not moving in front of you, maybe down toward the earth. And then slowly lift that left foot up. Now it could be just lifting the heel up or maybe bringing the knee up anywhere up to hip height. So anywhere along that spectrum, up to hip height. And then wherever you have your knee at, keep it exactly where it is and start to straighten the leg. Then bend it. Straighten it. And bend it. One more, straighten. And bend, and then slowly send it on through, stepping back into lunge. Good. Now, play with your lunge here. Notice, if you're watching, you're seeing me shifting around a little bit. Shift around too. Find that spot between your feet where you feel equal amounts of weight. Today for the balls of the feet. So, where can you distribute your weight from the right ball to the left ball of the feet and have an equal amount of pressure Good, and then slowly lower that left knee, hover, straighten it up, exhale, lower, inhale, lower, inhaling up, this time lowering all the way down, gently setting the knee down, maybe untucking the toes or leaving the toes curled in, Straightening the front leg, finding your hurdler. Maybe it stays with the left hip over that knee, right toes lift, or maybe you tuck the left toes. Maybe you sink back. All of these are good. Coming back up to that lunge. Good. Sending the weight forward again. We're going to rise all the way back up. All the way back up. Lift that left knee. And then release the left foot down. There, one side down. And we'll go through again. But we'll pause here for a moment. Maybe you close your eyes. Tune in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Weight will shift into left foot. And the right knee will lift. Any variation you choose. Where's your balance at today? How's it similar and different on this side? Wherever your knee pauses, keep it there and extend the leg slowly and then slowly bend. Feel the differences. Feel how your muscles interact and shift to support you with little wobbles. Bending the knee, slowly stepping it back, bend through that left knee too. High lunge, slowly lower, hover the knee, lifting again, hover, move, one more, this time we'll slow lower all the way down, keeping toes tuck or letting the top of the foot relax down, slowly straightening the left leg, your version, your variation on hurdler. Back to our lunge. Tucking the right toes if they're not tucked. Sending the trunk of the body forward. Rising up nice and slow. Big step. Lift that right foot. Lift that knee. And then land it. Let's do that series once more for each side. 
Weight into the right side. Left knee lifts. You choose where. Extend the leg and bend the knee. When you're ready, a big step back, soft, slow, strong. Find that spot between the balls of the feet. Maybe you did it on the left side too. We'll make sure to cue it the next go around. And slowly lower that knee, hover it just above the floor, and then straighten that back leg. Lower the knee to hover. Straighten and breathing. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. This time, hover. Hover and pause. Pause here, pause here, pause here. And release it down gently. Find your lunge. Um, your hurdler. Your hurdler. We're coming back up now. Tucking left toes. Straightening that leg. Rising up, all the way down. Lift that left foot, and then set the foot down, releasing. Bring the hands down by the hips for a moment. Checking in before our last round. Hands back to the heart. Weight into the left foot. Find your lift with the right leg. When you're ready, straightening the right leg, bending. Inhale, and exhale. Slow step back to your lunge. Take your time. Find it and adjust. Just for today, where can you find that? Traction between the balls of the left foot and the right foot. Equal amount of force. And when you're ready, knee hovers. Three of them. Lower down, hover, 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 breathe. And gently touch down. Find your hurdler stretch now. Any of the variations. Find your lunge. Take your time. Leaning forward, big step. Lift that right knee, lift, lift, lift. And lower the leg. Find your mountain, the top of your mat. Release your arms down by your sides. Breathing in. Breathing out. I sink the feet just a little wider than the hips now for a nice planted base here. We'll take a side bend over toward the right so the left hand can come to the shoulder. Right hand stays reaching down by that right hip and then slowly tipping as if that left arm we're going to reach up toward the ceiling, kind of lengthening along that left side body. Optionally, you can reach that left arm longer, just like before when we were seated. You can bring the hand to the back of the skull and think the ridge of the skull here. So that spot just the back of the head, at the top of the neck. And then optionally, you can bring your right hand there too, and kind of cradling the head, leaning back slightly, and also letting the elbows reach in opposite directions. And then letting the elbows close toward the right, curling up toward the right. You can take the chin toward the chest, and then gently coming to center. And inhale, rising up and leaning back slightly if you want. So you feel the ribs kind of lift up. 
Coming back to center. Releasing the left hand down, reaching the right hand, taking a tip toward the left. Feel that length along the right side. Long, long, long. An option here, that right hand can come to the back of the head. Think the ridge of the skull here. The left hand too. Elbows wide, reaching in opposite directions. And then slowly closing towards one another and folding in. Coming back to center. Rising up, opening up, maybe a little lean back. And then reach both arms, a big X here. And then slowly release the arms down to the side. Good. Find the top of your mat. Sweep the arms down by the hips. Inhale, reach both arms up and let the gaze follow. As you exhale, dive on down, bend the knees, lead with your heart all the way down towards the floor. Slide the hands up your legs, taking a half lift, let the shoulders sink. Exhale, bend the knees until you can plant your hands on your mat and step back into tabletop. Take the knees wide, let the toes come together and sink back into a child's pose. Breathing here. Softer, smoother, a little bit longer. Walk both hands off of your mat toward the right and stack the right hand on top of the left hand. You can let your head rest on one of your arms or on the mat. Follow the breath from the beginning of each inhale to the end of each exhale. On an inhale, walking the hands to center. On your next exhale, both hands this time toward the left, left hand on top of the right, head rest. Breathe. Back to center now. Pausing in child pose one last time. When you're ready, only as you're ready, rising up and making your way onto your back. If you have that towel or blanket and you'd like the support for your head, you can have that on your mat. Make your way onto your back now. Once you get there, you can hug your knees towards your chest. You can use your arms to support them or just let the muscles of the legs do the work here. And you can add rocking or stillness, circling on the back, figure eights. You might cross your ankles, let your knees go wide. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I'll take just a couple more poses before our final resting with Joel playing during our Savasana. When you're ready, let the feet come down to the mat. And then gently press your low back against the mat. On an inhale, let it peel up and let your ribs arch up, your tailbone sinks down. Exhale, slow back connect. Inhale, find that lift, that expansion. Your arms can be anywhere you want, down by your side on your ribs, open to a T. Breathing in. 
breathing out. Finding the neutral position, heel toe the feet to the width of the mat, and open your arms out to a T. As you exhale, let both knees tip to the right. You might shift your gaze left. And you can flow here, inhales to center. Exhale, as you'll tip both knees to the left, your gaze can shift right. Flowing or pausing on either side combination thereof. Breathing in. Breathing out. Eventually, coming back to center and checking in to see if there are any more movements you would like. Maybe repeating a pose from earlier or adding something that you are familiar with. Or maybe you're ready for your final resting, that time to invite in a little stillness, a little rest to give yourself permission to be and to breathe. We call this yoga playtime for you. Letting yourself incorporate any last thing. Maybe relaying, adding some socks or a blanket. To settle in. To be and breathe. It's off the earth, remember me. She took me back so tenderly, arranging her dark skirts, her pockets full of lichens and seeds. I slept as never before, a stone on the riverbed, nothing between me and the white fire of the stars but my thoughts, and they flowed as light as moss among the branches of the perfect tree. All night I heard the small kingdoms breathing around me, the insects and the birds who do their work in the darkness. All night I rose and I fell, as if in water grappling with a luminous doom. By morning, I had vanished at least a dozen times into something better. Sleeping in the forest, Mary Oliver.
Begin to let the body land back in this space. Inviting subtle movement. You can wiggle fingers and toes. And gently turn the head from side to side. You might rest a moment or two longer exactly as you are. We might curl up on the side of your choice. It's entirely up to you. And eventually we'll meet together seated. Bring our practice to a close for the evening. Continue to find ways to connect and to let our thoughts flow like moss among the trees. May we know peace, wisdom, and serenity. And may we fill our hearts. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining Joel and me this evening. It's such an honor and a pleasure to be here with you during this time. We will be back tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. with our morning mindful movement. And um, this weekend, um, Yoga Nidra and Thursday evening. Yes? Nidra and Thursday evening? I'm not sure. I, there's a conflict of scheduling with another streamer that I'm not going to talk about publicly mm -hmm. right now. But I'm going to end up doing a, um, a Friday night show. Oh, okay. So stuff. more music from Joel. Um, stay tuned um, for some fun tunes and some vocals um, as well. So we are here. Support um, all these local artists, all our local businesses as much as you can. Share posts. Mm -hmm. Let your friends and family know and make financial contributions as you are able. We so appreciate you. Thank you. Take care.